We've got Scott Hicks on the phone, the director of the new film, The Lucky One. Scott, good morning, sir. Good morning, Big J. How are you today? Is this uh, uh, I'm I'm well. How are you? Okay, good. Sometimes I'm a little worried when people have to wake up this early in the morning that it's not going to be good. I'm from Australia. We wake up early. Ah, exactly. That's what you do over there. Well, this. How did you feel? You've done a lot of different types of movies, uh, some biopics, obviously uh, Shine, the one that was uh, nominated for so many awards and won so many awards. You've done different sorts of films. How do you feel about doing kind of a, a romantic, com- not a romantic comedy, but one of these lovey-dovey notebook style films well I, I, you know the, the great thing about it is you know it's based on a, a, a book by nicholas sparks the lucky one and you know there is an audience there that really loves uh, this, this sort of movie and so it's a great thing as a filmmaker when you set out to make a film knowing that there are people out there who are really eager to see this sort of material and when you take a young star like zac efron and take him on to really a new stage of his career as a mature adult actor uh, it's a kind of exciting challenge, and I, I really enjoyed doing it. Excellent. Was he as cute as uh, as all the ladies think he is in person? Yeah, you're probably asking the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there's no question, wherever Zach goes, there's a lot of uh, interest and attention, should we say. In fact, you know, we had the premieres of the film uh, down in Australia last week, and in my hometown of Adelaide, we had the biggest crowd that they've seen there since the Beatles were there. So wow. can you imagine? I mean, it was just colossal. That is huge. Well, tell people, for the people that are fans of uh, The Notebook or Dear John or these other uh, Nicholas Sparks films or uh, films that were based on his work, tell them uh, the story of The Lucky One if they're not familiar with the novel. Well, you know, it, it, it's about this um, Marine who's in, in the thick of the war and played by Zac Efron, of course, and he, by the way, he really had to bulk up and get the physique and the mindset of a Marine, which he did really well. But he finds in the thick of battle this photograph which he begins to believe that the young woman in this photograph has saved his life. But when he gets home, and he, you know, he can't quite fit in, as a lot of uh, our military do have you know, issues when they, when they come home, he decides to set out and try and find this woman to thank her for saving his life. And when I read that, I just thought that was the best sort of start to a movie, uh, particularly a romance like The Lucky One. And uh, that's what really hooked me in. Excellent. Well, there you go. I mean, it sounds like for anybody that likes any of those uh, Nicholas Sparks types films, this is going to be one of those for them, too. And I saw in the uh, the preview, is it an honor or a little weird for them to say that it's like The Notebook meets Dear John? Oh, I think that's pretty good, considering what those movies did. And the thing is, the interesting thing, too, is that, you know, a lot of guys loved The Notebook. I mean, it was really, you know, they were, they, they were reluctant to admit it, let's face it, but in fact, they actually really liked it. And I think, you know, I think we made a film in The Lucky One that could, could hit that same note with people. Um, you know, I think girls are definitely going to enjoy it, and guys are going to surprise themselves. You know, we start out in the middle of a firefight in the war. I mean... It's not, uh, you know, at first you might think, oh, wow, we, we walked into the wrong cinema. You know, I thought this was Nicholas Sparks. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of action, a lot of interest. But, you know, the romance between Zac Efron and, uh, and Taylor Schilling as, as their characters, that's the core of the movie for sure. So definitely. So there are some, you got a good mix there. It's the love film that everybody expects from Nicholas Sparks, but there are some exploding heads uh, with Zac Efron being Not Marine. exactly so exploding heads. We're, it's PG-13, <laughs> you know, but it's, um, you know, it's definitely uh, uh, one, uh, one comment I love from one guy who saw it very early on. He said, this is a chick flick for guys. Oh, that's cool. That's a good compliment to you, especially. I mean, knowing that you're kind of doing a chick flick, but then knowing that it appeals to both sexes there has got to be nice. What's, yeah, I think it's important, you know. What's next? Uh, of course, the lucky one in theaters this Friday. Everybody's going to go and check that out. But uh, what is on the agenda for uh, for Mr. Scott Hicks after this? You know, I, the movie is rolling out all over the world. So really, for, the, for the, 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 the immediate future, I'm sort of going to London, then on to Europe. And uh, the film actually opens in Australia today, opens for us here in, in the States tomorrow, and, you know, so that's really sort of keeping me very busy right now. So n- nothing else on the uh, on the agenda, no Not projects? Not immediately. Like I mean, I've got, I'm, you know, I'm writing a script right now, but you never know um, exactly what's going to happen okay. next. Um, so uh, all my focus is still on the lucky one and uh, uh, trying to, you know, uh, usher it through for, for an audience to, to start uh, enjoying it. Very good. Well, once you're done with that, you should uh, write a film that uh, is centered in Montana. We like to get films here, so try to try to write some I sort of a, love to do that. A I love Montana. Film. Yeah, brilliant yeah, no, film. I'm... Set it here in Montana. We'll take good care of you, I promise. I think, and I think yeah, we could 
set up in a radio station, don't you? Yeah, like yeah. the what whole thing takes place in a radio studio. You can yeah, use I like could, an actual radio. I can radio feel room. the drama now. Oh I my can God. feel it now. Scott, your next film, I see it's going to be huge, my man. But before that huge film, go support The Lucky One, which is in theaters this Friday. Guys, girls, everybody. It's a good, good film, and uh, Scott, I'm sure, did a good job directing it. Thank you so much for calling in this morning, Scott. Have a great morning, and uh, best of luck with the film. Thanks, Big J. I appreciate it. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.